All right, uh, let me show you how to convert a, a logic project from one sample rate into another. Uh, this might have happened to you. You started recording something in, let's say, 44.1 kilohertz, but you actually wanted to record in something different. And you notice in the middle of the project, uh, this is kind of annoying. So what you can do to prevent this, like in your project template, you can right click here, uh, switch the LCD to, where, where is it? Sometimes it doesn't work. There you go. You switch it to custom and you enable the sample rate here. So now it shows you the sample rate right here in the middle. And it's easy to switch. You just hold down your mouse button and you select the, the one you want. But without converting the files, if you change the sample rate, it's going to sound very weird. So what you do is you open your browser. You select all the audio files with a command A. Right click, copy convert files. Now per default, it's going to want to overwrite all those files, which is very bad because if you decide to cancel, then you'll have some files in 96 kilohertz and some in the original sample rate. And like if logic crashes, one of those files is gonna be completely destroyed because it's the one being overwritten right now. And um, actually on every file, like it does those files one by one it's going to ask you overwrite and you have to click and wait a few seconds for the next one. Overwrite, and you have to click again. Well, it's going to be it's going to be a whole mess. So what you want to do is you want to make a new folder like this. There you go. You set it to your sample rate, leave everything here in original and leave this one checked. Uh, this is going to tell logic to switch from the old 48 kilohertz file here to the new one. So you just hit save. Now this is gonna take forever. It's gonna take every audio file and convert it to the new sample rate. And when it's done, then you can switch it to 96 kilohertz here and it's gonna sound fine. Now it's gonna sound fine if you're only using Logic's um, built-in plugins. Uh, on some third-party plugins, uh, it can sound a little different, like especially EQs they're probably going to sound different if you switch sample rates, especially in the, the treble range. And some software instruments might sound different, uh, samplers, uh, synths. Um, some might not even work uh, in some sample rates. But yeah, if you just want to convert your whole Logic project to your new sample rate, that's how it works. So pretty much you open the browser, Command A, right click, convert, make a new folder, save it, and then you can switch it here to the new sample rate. And yeah, that's it.